I started dancing at age 12. I started in fourth grade. I remember one of my best friends was in dance and I would always go to the studio and watch her dance. And I would always just sit in the studio and just watch and be like, oh, I wish I could dance too with the rest of them. And then one day the dance instructor was like, why don't you come join us? So I did and then after that I just enrolled and started dancing. I got into photography, I started it liking it so much when I was ninth grade, I want to say. Um, my friends and I, it was spring break, and we went to our little small town in Colville, and there was like a swing set, and my one friend decided to climb up the top of the swing set and do a dance pose up there, and I snapped the shot on my phone, and it actually turned out really cool. I just love them both so much. I have a passion for both dance and photography. In the future, I really want to be pursuing my career as a dance photographer. I, it would be really cool to go to New York. I really like to focus on taking dance photographs like in a studio setting, not more, not like a recital, because those are so unpredictable and you never know what the light's gonna do or what move's gonna come next. But I really hope to just take portraits of professional dancers doing whatever they feel like doing, what, like whether it's their favorite pose, or I just love to see how people express themselves themselves through like their movement of their body. About a year ago I used baby powder in one of my dance photo shoots. I had my model covered in it and I had her throw some up in the air as she did a jump and it was probably the one of my favorite images I have ever created. Um, one of my biggest inspirations is dance photographer Lois Greenfield. She has done several of hundreds of different dance photographs of her own. She does a lot of action dance shots, I would say, like jumping in different poses in the air. And I just love the style of lighting she uses and the process, so I hope to like use her process as well with the two thousand one two thousandth of a second flash sync. Recently, I've been setting up my lights for my dance shots using the strip boxes on either side of my dancer to create like that crunch lighting effect. I really love what the crunch lighting does because it shows more of the muscle definition in the dancer's body and that's something that I really like to show in my dance work because most people find dance is more, than, more just a hobby rather than a sport and dance is really intense and it, can, it really builds up muscle. My name is Taylor Elizabeth Schultz and I am a dance photographer.